Microwave kilns come in three different sizes, small, medium and large. In the small microwave, you can fire a piece of glass up to five by five centimeters, which is two and a half inches. A medium kiln, you can fire something eight by eight centimeters, which is three inches. And a large one, you can fire a piece up to 10 centimeters square, which is four inches. If this is your first kiln or you've never used one before, I suggest you buy a small one because they're easier to learn, easier to handle and you can lift the lid with one hand if necessary. The firing time is shorter, only three to six minutes and you will also use your small kiln far more often than a larger kiln. You are better to buy a medium or large microwave kiln after you've learned and gained experience using a small microwave kiln. They are a lot harder to handle and you may even need assistance. The firing time is a lot longer, 20 minutes plus. And you certainly won't use a medium or large kiln as often as you use your small kiln. Most microwave kilns come from the same place in China and they're all created equally. It's just that they are marketed under different brand names and some people think that one brand is better than another and they may heat up faster or last longer or be better quality. That is not the case. You may have only just heard about microwave kilns, and yes, they are pretty special, but they are not something new. They've been around for the last 30 years or so. Microwave kilns have been well and truly tried and tested all over the world, and so are completely safe for you to use so long as you adhere to good health and safety guidelines. Microwave kilns are made up of two different materials. There is the white on the outside which insulates the kiln and that is made from a hardened ceramic fiber. And then on the inside you have a black material which is silicon carbide and sodium silicate. And this black is what absorbs the microwaves and generates the heat that you need for fusing. A microwave kiln has two different parts, a lid and a base. You place the object to be fused on the firing plate which is on the base. The lid is then placed on top of the base and it contains the black material that generates the heat. If you take off the hot lid, make sure that you turn it over so that the black inside is facing upward, otherwise it could burn the table or surface that you sit it on. Yes, your microwave kiln will develop cracks, but it should last you a lifetime. The cracks are not from poor manufacture. They come from heating and cooling of the kiln. And you too would crack after being heated to around 1000 degrees Celsius and cooled down again. Be patient with your kiln and remember that you can repair both the white and black parts as often as you wish. Typically microwave kilns are used for melting glass, for fusing, fire polishing, slumping and kiln carving. They can also be used for enamelling. You also can fire ceramics in the microwave kiln to make jewellery and other small objects out of clay and they can even be glazed. You can now fire silver clay, that's PMC or art clay silver in the microwave. That's exciting but you do need to learn how this is done. Learning is important so that you don't hurt yourself or someone else. You do need to know what you are doing and follow good health and safety guidelines. I highly recommend that you check out the courses on craftfun.com where you will learn loads about microwave kiln fusing. 
there are dozens of learning videos and project tutorials. And as a bonus, when you sign up, you can also access step-by-step -step instructions on how to fire silver clay in the microwave.